sugar cinnamon pop tarts. 55 and I'm starting. Pop tarts? Okay, the goal is to make six pop tarts worthy of a southern breakfast in front of the TV, watching reruns of your favorite show or performer. Hey, Dolly Parton, Jerry Clowers. I've got a Jerry Clowers story. Uh, Dukes of Hazard, Charlie's Angels, or the, the Weather Channel. This technical piece will challenge your skills with a variety of activities and a need for good time management. Our hint is to read through the directions completely before starting in order to make sure you complete the piece within the allotted three hours. Good luck. Well, I just um, added the ice water to my dough and now I'm supposed to pat it to a half inch thick. I'm gonna roll it out later anyway. So there's my disc. Here's my plastic wrap. Woo! I washed my hands. So I, I calculated out that I think I need a 12 by 12 inch square. Although this is going to take a little bit to roll out, I'm pretty sure. It feels pretty tough. All right, checking in with our first technical baker of the day. How's it going so far? Good. Um, dough is rolled out. Uh, it's all sized correctly. And now I'm going to assemble. So uh, this has been fun and uh, a good challenge. It's something I've never made before, so it's kind of fun to see. It, it's a it helps me try to imagine uh, what an industrial bakery does <laughs> by machine all the time in zillions. But it, it's fun to do it like this, and um, I can't wait to see how they turn out. I don't know if this is thick enough. Like, I don't know if this is like combined, but I've worked at it for a while. I don't know, man. It's all crumbly. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be like. Pebbled sand? No. Dough will be shaggy. It's not pebbled sand. I think. That's my 12 rectangles. So now it's time to brush and fill them. The challenge of this one is um, how to do this uniquely. We've all got the same exact recipe, right? So how do you make your stand, follow the recipe, but stand out just a click. And so I've been standing here trying to think about how to do that. All right, well, we're excited to taste it. Yeah, thanks. To each the 12 rectangles. And I have my filling right here. It's gonna go on six of the rectangles. And it calls for a rounded tablespoon. So. like a lot. Ooh. I'm gonna do a little bit less. Just to spread it but to leave a edge. So let's see how that's gonna go. Gotta stop filling. It doesn't taste too bad. I accidentally touched it. It's also not quite wide enough. You realize that not all of your rectangles were the exact same size <laughs> when you get them. So let's stretch that just a little bit because I really want the edges to meet just perfectly. I don't think we want any seepage of the filling. Oh 
Yeah. And as far as I know, that's just gonna be a little pop tart. All right. The judges like them. We're looking forward to trying them. Thanks. All right. How's it going so far? There they are. Headed into the oven right now. All right. Stay tuned. We'll see what they look like when they come out. My dilemma. I've never actually had a pop tart. So I've just taken them out of the freezer where they've gotten pretty firm and I'm pricking the tops. It says to prick the tops to allow the steam to escape. And I'm hoping that's enough pricking. I don't know how deep to make it exactly. So we'll see. Now they're going to go in the oven. I'm going to start in the bottom rack. Should I do it backwards? Do it backwards. Here we go. Oh goodness, I'm gonna get a tiny little nip. get a nice amount of drizzle on there because Pop-Tarts are oftentimes glazed all the way. I feel like I'm going to take them out. I think they've browned. I hope, hopefully they've browned enough. I can't see. I did have a little seepage here that Done. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'll do a little more. Hold up. I want them to be really well iced. All right. What time is it? 4.43. So I started at 2.55. So, wow. My goodness. That's awesome. I need to not transfer them. So now they just have to sit and cool completely. And How are you doing with your time? Uh, right on time. 1.28. Yes. So hopefully they will dry and be presentable for tonight. There you go. All right, technical done with 20 minutes left. How'd it yeah. go? It went well. Um, they were a little leaky in the oven, so I lost a little bit of filling, but I went, <coughs> I went with two different colors of glaze and um, instead of just putting it on in the typical way that you would expect to, I drizzled it and I had some extra dough, so I was a little decorative with my extra dough. So we'll see how they turn out.